Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Resorts World Birmingham. Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome to another video and this one is a change of scenery as we're in uh, Resorts World Birmingham for two nights and today's of the day we should have been on a California beach at Huntington Beach, California and tomorrow we would have been driving to Las Vegas. It is what it is but we've had a change of scenery, you see a lot of videos in Victoria Gate. Claire's brought me here for my birthday. I'm 41 years young today, <laughs> Ooh, I don't know, but yeah she's brought me here for my birthday, we've got two nights, got some nice meals booked and we're going to go two nights gambling in the Genting Casino here, let's see how we get on guys, it should be a good one. So we're staying in a signature room, signature double. It's basically just the standard room at Resorts World. Claire's already got a mask on. That's because wherever we are in the resort, you've got to wear a mask. The room's pretty nice. It's a four-star hotel, Claire, right? So it's a four-star hotel. It's a spacious room. Decent enough. I'll just turn the camera around. Not a lot of artwork. That's Singapore, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, bit of blur. Big bathroom. We're a good wit bathroom. Nice little uh, rainforest shower jobby. Quick tour at room. Claire's keen to get to the shops and have a look round. We're going to get his bearings. But yeah, decent enough. And we're across, not on the lake, we're across from the actual Resorts World Arena where they have a lot of gigs and that. Because below us, that's literally main entrance to where we're staying. 100 and. £74, including VIP parking for two nights. Claire's got it. She trepped me. 175 quid, two nights, VIP park. I don't think that's bad, Claire. The VIP parking is recommended as well. VIP parking is recommended. Because it's underground. There's only, I think, 92 or 94 spaces. You come straight in, straight into the car park, and the elevator is the actual elevator that takes you up to your rooms in the hotel. You just basically get off. At reception. reception, check in, straight back in the same elevator up to your room. Very convenient. So far, so good. We're going to have a scout around, get his bearings, and then get ready for tonight. So, see you in a bit. been here 10 minutes and she's already shopping like it's going out of fashion. Two pair of Levi's and a Levi's t-shirt, £116. Bar Bargain. Bargain. Not too bad. I've but just got to win all my money apparent, back now. Apparently we weren't shopping until tomorrow. Well I might do that as well. <laughs> so yeah, this is the lake just in front of the resort. Pretty nice. Bit of a man-made beach right over there in the distance next to the, the Moxie Hotel. Tomorrow, after we get a bite of breakfast, we'll probably go for a walk around this trail around here. Take some nice shots from a distance, see how we get on. But for now, we need to go back to the room, get ready, because we've got a meal booked. So one thing I have done is get a My Genting reward card, because funnily enough, we've never been to a Genting casino in England, because we spend all this time in Victoria Gate. So, brand new to Genting. Free play, £10 each, and £10 each on his next visit, so 40 quid in free play just for joining up, which in bad player, to be fair. So yeah, we're going to get out there, have a meal, hit the casino, see how we get on. Time to 
time for us to go out, out, Claire. Yep. Masks will be able to come off in restaurants, so I'm not too concerned. But they'll have to go back on when we're getting casino. It is what it is. Looking forward to this meal in Sky. I always forget the name of this restaurant. Sky by the water. Sky by the water. Sound good views. Sounds good. Sounds good food. And for once, you might catch me having a cocktail. Don't hold it against me. Well, you've got a pod. Yeah, we've got a pod, apparently. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh. First things first guys, we're in Sky by the Water, private bar for an hour and a half before the meal in his very own private pod. Come strolling in here and look who's already in. It's a secret garden. It's a secret garden Claire. <laughs> These are for six, one household only and this is where we're going to enjoy a couple of cocktails Claire. Let's do it. So here we are guys, first drink of the birthday, and guess what, it ain't a Corona, it's an old fashioned, or what they call a refashioned here, so we'll give it a sample, I do like an old fashioned, I'm not going to lie, I'm not into fruity cocktails. I like the little peg, it's really strong, Jesus. <laughs> oh that's decent, that's decent. Can I taste it? Yeah, you'll not like it, you will not like that, taste it, I warned her. Uh, what? Ugh. What did I tell you? It's not rocket no, science, Claire. I like the old fashioned in um, when we go to mm. Vegas in um, Skyfall, Skyfall Lounge. Lounge. That's nice. Well, that's not much different. So we're just about to go for dinner, and I'm not going to lie, Claire's pissed. I am. Uh, honestly, this is the... I didn't realise there's prosecco in this as well mixed in. Enjoy that? Yeah, really, really nice. Really nice. Now, for £85, Claire, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was lovely. If you ever come nice here, guys, that's a nice restaurant. And the Secret Garden's a real cool place to have some cocktails. The food was great. 
What I had were excellent. The drinks were good. Service was good. If you want to come, there's plenty of franchise places. But if you want to treat yourself, go there. And it's definitely went out of way for price. I, no, I really enjoyed I really it. Enjoyed and it, it was a great birthday meal. Yeah. Now, you might be wondering where we're going. We're supposed to be going at Casino. But we're going back to the room. And you're not going to like this, guys. But I can't take the camera into the casino. But I'm taking my mobile phone. Anything notable, winning wise, we'll go through it with you. But I've been in touch with them, just like I did with Vic Gate, and I, ca I can't film in the casino with my camera. So I'm putting it back in safe, and we're going to head down, and we'll go through it with you later. So I'll catch you in a bit. Looks a bit breezy outside. Not a problem. So morning everybody. Thought I'd come for a little stroll. A little bit of a man-made beach around here. You can take the path from the main entrance all the way around. And if you come across here, it's like a little, little bit of a pathway, cycleway, where you can go around the woods here. Nice little stroll. And I've left Claire, because she's gone back to bed. Because she had a few drinks last night. Okay guys, so the gambling last night. So after the restaurant, we went to the casino. I put the camera in, I told you I couldn't film obviously in the casino. I contacted them beforehand and it's a, it's a big no. But I did take my phone in with me. You know how it is. So, <laughs> as soon as we got in there, me and Claire put 40 quid in just to start with. Bearing in mind, we were 200 up from Victoria Gate in the last video. So we've come here. We, we're winnings. We put the 40 quid in and a few little clips on the phone. Uh, this is how we got on. GT have got some new cabinets and they're pretty nice. I'm hoping uh, Victoria Gate gets these in. Really cool. Started with 40, Claire, and we're up to 200, guys. And I'm sneaking a quick video in. Shh. Look at this. We're up to 344 of Diamond Queen, we're loving it guys. I smashed another Diamond Queen bonus with a symbol. £225 bonus guys. It's, we started with 40, we're up to hit the button quick. Quick before I get thrown out. 587. £661 up from £40. I'm loving it. I'm loving Class it. Class checking, she's I'm loving it. it. So not bad at all, you know. We're, we're currently 400 up just here from uh, from last night 600 up from the last couple of casino visits uh, you can't beat it you know but <laughs> listen to this so you know our friends Gina and John Kerry right they've, they've featured in quite a, a lot of vlogs you know if, if you're a vlogger within 10,000 miles of Gina Kerry she will be in it it's it's, it's a given anyway when we we're in Victoria Gate two weeks ago John and Gina came out for dinner with us um, we had a nice meal when we left Gina, uh, she was £1,400 up on Elephant King. I have never seen anybody keep winning and winning and winning. Then, me and Claire left and she hit this hand pay, £1,500. She left Victoria Gate that night, she was two and a half grand ahead on, on £3 bets, you know. Nothing massive, three pound, yeah, it might seem a lot, but three pound bets, two and a half grand up. That's brilliant. Anyway, <laughs> John and Gina turned up last night, uh, and this is what happened. Mate, Gina's here again. I can't make it up, guys. £1,968 bonus on Diamond Queen. I love it. So within... 30 minutes of being in the casino, Gina hit that on Diamond Queen, 1968 quid or whatever it was. Over two grand up, literally, 
the moment she hit that, John Kevy is to the right of me. Says, hey Nicky, check out all these wilds. Ah, but don't worry, it's only a 60p bet. All right, John, I look over, screen full of wilds on a game called Twin Strike, which you might see me and Claire play in a bit. It's a jackpot. Check this out. Can't believe what's happening. I'm with John, Gina's other half, who's just won two grand, and John's just won 1250. And I'm with Steve. This is crazy winning tonight on a 60p bet. Full screen of wilds is a jackpot, aren't they? Unbelievable. Nice one, John. Nice one. And me and, and, me and Claire are 300 up. This is really good. I mean, you just cannot make it up. Those guys between them ended up like three and a half grand ahead. So there you go. Me and Claire are 600 ahead. Those guys are crushing it. Absolutely amazing. I'm well happy for them. So, you know, I'm glad you guys come last night. And on top of that, big shout out to Sophie and Chris who uh, who were quite new members at Vegas Club who recognise us and come and have a drink and they bought me a drink, bought Claire a drink very much appreciated guys so yeah, thought I'd fill you in on last night this is another day we've got lunch to have uh, we've booked in at a Miller and Cart Steakhouse later and then we're hitting the casino again before we leave tomorrow so while you're out and about also here at Resorts World if you want to be a bit more adventurous than the, the trail that I've just been on by the lake, you could also head to Bear Grylls Adventure. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, activity going on in there. Looks like a lot of fun. Not quite feeling it myself, so I'll probably just go sit in the casino again. But yeah, plenty to do if you've got your kids here as well. Decent place, guys. I'm enjoying the weekend. We're halfway through. Let's see what else it brings. A little bit of gaming. Arcade gaming and Claire's in. <laughs> so if you're bringing kids guys, this place is called Vortex. It's a cool little arcade. Win tickets, win prizes. Kids would love it. It's very modern. A lot of modern games to play. Outdoor seating area. You can grab drinks and snacks. And right now it's completely dead. It feels like we've got the whole resort to ourselves. And then we're going to go next door to eat lunch. We'll take it from there. Not quite the same Wheel of Fortune we used to. <laughs> Got a bit of VR gaming, if that's your thing. So we're going to sample lunch here. Looks pretty decent. I'm partial to some uh, faux noodles. Let's check this one out. Shout out to Mark Jerome who recommended that place. It was really good. I like a big bowl of fowl. But it was nice, really tasty. Even Claire enjoyed it. Didn't you Claire? It was nice. It's nice. Yeah. Evening number two Claire. 
Yeah. If it's out like last night, we're in for a winner. Let's hope so. Brilliant, yeah? Yeah, we're really good last night. It was good last everybody, night. Everybody will win us. We're off to Miller and Carter for a steak. Should be nice. It was 12 o'clock when we had lunch and it's half past seven now, so I am quite hungry already. Starving. <laughs> what a change, guys starving. Brilliant. So, steak, casino, leaving camera in safe again, but you never know, I've got, I've got the old, uh, just in case. Oh yeah, we've got some free play, can I just remind you? Last night, we didn't get as free play to work on the Genting app. I've never used it before, but it's all come through, like the challenge as it's called, for those of you who don't know. And we've got about three different challenges enabled to redeem for points. And we've actually got £25 each free play. So we've got 50 quid in free play. Well, that's play. only because we're doing two visits. Mm. Yeah, because we're on a second visit and it's like a challenge you get on your points. But 50 quid in free play, I'm not complaining. And we won all last night, so it's all good. It's all good. And when we get... Crossed. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, we're just starting out tonight in Miller and Carter. What are you Brits? Probably know this place. Maybe a lot of you have been. But for our American friends, you'll probably not recognise this place since... Closest thing I could probably compare it to is like Outback or something because you have them in a lot of areas around there. So let's eat. Missus is hungry. Claire didn't have a dessert last night. Can you believe it? So I am determined I am having one today. Even though you're full? Even though I'm stuffed. Even though she's stuffed. She's I'm still going to have it. But that's Claire all over. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Stick a fork in me, Claire. That was oh. delicious. I'm so full. I am. She had all that dessert. Yeah. <laughs> she meant having that dessert. Got to take the camera back to the room. Smash it. We're gonna smash it. We got one. £175 bonus. We're back up a bit. We're losing though tonight, but we have got back up a bit with that. £175. Okay, so the fact that Claire's just hit £175 bonus is irrelevant because we've just been rinsed. Totally. Lost it all tonight, guys. 200 quid. <laughs> but it's still a free weekend. Yeah. All those meals were paid for, his winnings. It's cost us nothing. And I'm happy about that. Yeah. And it's been decent. We're tired. I'm all good at bed. Yeah, me too. So we'll wrap this up in the morning and we'll take it from there. But for now, I'm going to sleep. Okay, so there you have it guys, it's been a really cool couple of days, I'm back home now. Uh, thanks to Claire for, for putting that together for me for my birthday, it's been excellent. Um, a lot of you have asked me about my thoughts on the place and whether I've done a walk around video, comparing casinos etc. Uh, I have done a bit of a walk around with a camera, I've not put the footage together yet, but hopefully I'll put it together, see, see if I can get a video out of it and I'll put it up for you. Obviously you can see the full layout and see for yourself and what you think. Um, casino wise, excellent, excellent casino, quite big, loads of slot machines, you know, you're not queuing for the machines like you do in some uh, casinos. Um, if I'm going to compare it to Victoria Gate, which a lot of you asked me, it's not as good as Victoria Gate, I'm not going to lie about that, Victoria Gate is bigger, uh, I think it's much nicer inside, but I'm not taking anything away from Genting, great experience, cool place, and uh, as a slot player, brilliant, Lo loads of machines to play on, but uh, Victoria Gate's it's uh, it's above anything else I've ever been to in Britain as far as a Vegas experience goes guys so you might call me biased you know because I go there a lot but uh, that's that's my opinion the restaurants were great 
lovely food, the the pods you saw for the cocktails, that, uh, the secret garden, the sky by the water, that were excellent. I loved that. We had a we had a great time in there. The hotel were really good uh, for a four star. Were absolutely brilliant. The price were great. I mean. For what we got under the parking, couldn't complain. The only thing I would say to you, those of you that are wanting to go, I'd probably recommend just a one-nighter. I mean, we had two nights, it was nice, we, we, we had downtime to relax and everything, but you, you, you could do it in one night, not an issue really, you don't need two nights. Don't go out of your way to go there for shopping, because there isn't many shops. Now, when I put a walk around video together, you'll, you'll see for yourself, it's not that big for shops. It's nice to have there while you're staying as a resort, but if you're planning on traveling there to go shopping, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest doing that, to be fair. But like I said, as a resort, it's got everything you need. The hotel, the restaurants, stuff for kids, uh, the, the shops, the cinema and the casino of course and yeah brilliant I, I enjoyed it I'd probably go back I'd, I'd, if I went with friends again I'd probably go back just maybe have one night and it's not that far for us it's only an hour and a half drive if there's anything else you want to know about the place give me a shout DM me I'll throw that other video up and with that being said I'll see you in the next one guys take care